Welcome you back to Black Site tonight. We're going to talk about the black community versus the migrants. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. In a city like Chicago, Illinois, they are having a serious problem with migrants in the black community. The black community was told years ago that they had to shut down so many schools because they didn't have the funds to keep them open. But as soon as the migrants was dropped off in their city because they are a sanctuary city, similar to New York, Washington, D.C., Denver, Los Angeles, they reopened the schools for the migrants and they are spending millions, now it's crossing billions of dollars to house these migrants because they have nowhere for them to stay. The residents are getting extremely angry. The neighborhoods are starting to become even more volatile. You know how violent the city of Chicago is. It's probably one of the top five most violent cities in America. But now you have migrants against the black community. So I want you to hear what the residents are saying. In a specific neighborhood in Chicago, which is Hyde Park, you may know the area because Obama, Michelle, and Barack Obama lived there when he was a state senator and as a senator. So we're going to hear the residents of this community complaining about a migrant shelter. A heated tonight response from a tonight from a Southside community where hundreds of migrants, hundreds of migrants about are about to be moved. Yeah, it's happening in Hyde, happening Park. In Hyde Park. Park. Tia Ewing has the, Ewing has the explosive meeting tonight. Two buses showed, Two buses up, in showed up in the city of Chicago today carrying migrants, 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 and we know at least for the week there's been four that have arrived, that have here. arrived and here. And this is not the first time that migrants will call Hyde Park home. 120, 120 lived, lived at the Lakeshore Hotel, Hotel in January, in January and, also and also March. Most residents, Most residents didn't know anything, didn't know about, anything it. about it, and this is the first time they are sounding off. I don't want them there. Take them someplace else and send them back to Village Park. I don't care where they this is wrong. You got 73% of the people living in the city of black people. What do you do for them? There were lots of fireworks. Over the migrants moving into the Lakeshore Hotel for six months, where 300 can be housed. Also, the city says it's a fluid situation, and it will need to revisit that timeline. Even the alderman, Desmond Yancey of the Fifth Ward, says he just found out about it last week. I don't know what happened before I got here. But in the spirit of transparency, this is why I'm not helping, because I thought it was important for two new members to know this in the neighborhood. It was, it was standing room only inside, inside the promontory. Residents had a lot of questions, about, lot of questions about police patrols, the change noticed in communities where migrants currently are, and the future plans, the future plans for dealing crisis. with the migrant crisis. Plymouth Court and Van Buren, that site looks like basically a bomb went off. So I'm concerned about the sites where the migrants are. We have such a rule that we have across the sites. New arrivals must wait. 150 days to apply for a work permit. Those on the front line of dealing with this crisis says part of the solution is getting migrants seeking asylum work. Without some remedy from the federal action, whether it's funding or the ability for folks to work, we find ourselves in a hole. And despite the overall response from residents come this Friday, that is the earliest that migrants will start moving into the hotel. From Hyde Park, Tia Ewing, Fox 32, Chicago. The Democrat Party created this problem. They wanted open borders. George Soros wanted open borders. So when you black community, you voted for the Democrat Party, you voted for this. This is what they want, simply for the fact is that they believe these will be future Democrat voters. It has gotten to a point to where these cities are being overwhelmed with migrants. And when you already have very little housing in Chicago, New York, Washington, Denver, uh, Los Angeles, where would these people stay? 
you already have a huge homeless population. Like the young lady said, almost 75% of them are black, but you didn't seek any open shelters or open facilities for them to go stay, but you created when schools were closed and they were empty buildings, a situation to where they could stay, live, eat. And now they're roaming the streets of Chicago and becoming enemies of the people in that neighborhood. Chicago has a huge crime problem. New York has a rising crime problem. Washington, D.C. has a rising crime problem. I'm not saying they're all migrants, but these are young men who are coming into the country saying that they're coming in because they're scared. Scared of what? They seem like they're dressed pretty good to me. Seem like they being fed. Seem like they got nice sneakers on. Are they coming here to take advantage of the system to where they can get free housing? They can get free food, free welfare, every program that you can think of then bring their families over. So who's basically taking advantage of the system? You got the mayor of Chicago, Brandon Johnson, who won't complain about this Joe Biden policy, but you have Mayor Eric Adams up in New York sounding the alarm, and now he's been kicked off of Joe Biden's election committee because basically he's letting everybody know that this whole situation is out of control and that New York may spend up to $12 billion this year trying to house, food, clothe these people who happen to be migrants. This is basically out of control. But when you vote Democrat, you must not vote because they're blue. You must read what they truly believe is their agenda. They have an immigration agenda. They have an open borders agenda. So they believe that they can stack a community, overload an already desperate community with more people, create more tension. Maybe they truly want the system to collapse amongst itself so they can bring in a new order, a new constitution. I don't know what they're trying to do, but Joe Biden and his administration, Mayorkas, all those cats in Washington has created a, a problem that needs to be addressed as quickly as possible because these mayors are not set up, their cities is not set up to hold millions of people if it's 50,000, 100, 150,000, and like I said earlier, you already have a shortage of housing, where would they live? Would they live in these shelters for the rest two, three years? Then you'll have chaos, you'll have riots, vandalism. This is a mess. And I know many of those citizens in those cities wish they wouldn't have named their city a sanctuary city because Governor Abbott called them out and he sent them straight up to their cities. This is a mess, but we got a derelict president who can't solve a problem. And it's a problem that needs to be solved as soon as possible. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. Hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, but also share this video.